Hello everyone, my name is Blake Jackson and today I'm giving a brief demonstration on a simulation software prototype I've created for a class project. The particular focus of my software prototype is in the area of automated household load optimization and scheduling for consumers connected to a microgrid network. My proposed software is designed to optimize the forecasted electrical load profile of a residential household connected to a microgrid. It does this by using estimates of the expected household energy consumption during an upcoming 24 hour period as well as the predicted energy output from renewable distributed energy resources within the microgrid such as photovoltaic installations. It compares the two sets of energy data, both the energy consumption and production, looking for periods when the renewable energy sources cannot meet the demands of the network loads. If the combined energy from the renewable sources and the local energy storage devices cannot meet the demand of the household load, then the proposed software will begin rescheduling and shedding loads based upon their characteristics and how they have been classified by the user. In order to demonstrate these concepts, I have created a test scenario for my simulation software. Here in the top graph we see the estimated PV system energy output over a 72 hour period. Within the first 24 hours or the first day, the estimated output from the PV installation is expected to be around average. In the second 24 hour period, the output of the PV installation is below average. And in the uh, third 24 hour period, the estimated output from the PV insulation is expected to be above average. Below this graph we see the estimated load profile for the household over a 72 hour period. You'll notice the different colors on this graph and they represent the priority ranking the user has given to specific loads within their household. For instance, this red color at the very top indicates the energy used by loads that are flexible. Now flexible loads can be moved up to 24 hours or postponed up to 24 hours into the future um, in order to achieve energy balance condition at an earlier time. The orange, green, and blue colors indicate loads that can be shed when the system is expected to experience a system condition of energy deficiency. And within the 72 hour period, we have assumed an average energy consumption for the household for all three days. Here in the third graph, we see the post analysis and the modified estimated load profile over the same 72 hour period. In the first 24 hours, we see that the load profile was not modified at all. This means that the energy output from the PV insulation as well as the battery storage systems were able to meet the demands of the household loads during that period. However, during the second 24 hour period, we see that loads had to be rescheduled to the third day and loads had to be shed uh, because the energy output from the PV insulation was below average. And additionally, down here on the fourth graph, we see that there had to be also an increase in uh, dispatch from the local gas microturbine to meet the loads for that day. Finally, on the third day, when the energy of the PV insulation was above average, we were able to accommodate the schedulable or flexible loads from the previous day and power those on the third day as well as the originally scheduled loads uh, that were meant to occur that day.